Today we're going to talk about adding more users. To add other users or employees at your company, you want to go to your admin screen by doing this. You want to click on the gear button here. It'll take you to your administrative settings dashboard. In here, you'll next go to under account configuration. You'll select users and accounts. Here's where you'll see every user of your system. We have four here. You'll see that they're, here's their name, their email address that they use, and then their actual role. Or when we want to add a new user, we want to click on new users. And we're going to use Susie as another example. So Susie is what we're going to put in here. You want to make sure you fill out all this information. So Susie at awesomeness.com. You want to assign her a username. Now, if you have a larger organization, maybe more than three or four folks, you want to make their usernames kind of similar. So maybe it's Susie.Smith. For now, you want to make her password something like password or 1234 or something, you know, maybe your company name. That way, you can send out an email to your entire company database that says, I've set us up in our new CRM. Your username is first name, dot last name, capital and your password is password. And then you may even go on to further to say, log in and go to your administrative panel and change your password to something that you'll remember that's a little more safer than just regular old password. Now you want to define the user role. You have administrators who can see everything in the database, also make administrative changes, changing dropdowns, field labels, etc. You have super users who can see everything but can't make any administrative changes. And then you have your regular users who can only see their data. So we are going to make Susie Smith a regular user in the system. And it'll pop up here. But once you've created this user, you also want to assign additional emails for Addy to recognize. Again, Addy is your virtual assistant. And so Susie not only uses Susie at awesome.com, but she also uses Susie at gmail.com, you want to make sure that you also include any other email addresses that Susie uses associated with your business so that Addy can capture that email history and put it into your account under the appropriate contact. So now that Susie is a user, I can go through and start assigning her, uh, assigning her contacts within the database. Now again, she is a regular user. So if I go over here to Mike West, you'll note here that this is Mike West's a con a contact card and that I'm the sales representative for this particular account. Now, here's where I have the different users or people in my company or employees that are assigned to this particular contact. I'm currently the only one. Now, everybody else but Susie, because their administrators can see this account. Now, if I want to give Susie access to this account, like she's our customer service rep, I want to click on the box that says customer service, and I want to select Susie Smith. Now, Susie can actually view this account as well. Now, if she wasn't in here or see Chad Bob is not in here, Chad can't see these because he is not a regular user. That is all done under the admin panel here, users and accounts, add new user. So there you have it. That's the simple way to add new users into your CRM.